Bags of bunker gear and piles of firefighting equipment were packed up and loaded up Monday for a long trip west. Six crew members from Travis County ESD-1 were notified Sunday that they're part of Governor Greg Abbott's California wildfire deployment. Chief Donnie Norman is the strike team leader. We're glad we have the ability to help. We're glad that we're trained and we have the capabilities to be able to answer the call, whether it's in state or out of state. The firefighters from Lago Vista are teaming up with crews from Oak Hill, Round Rock, Canyon Lake, and Bear County. This Central Texas strike team will have 21 members plus three others from fire departments in San Angelo and Odessa. They're needed. The Park Fire in Northern California is approaching 400,000 acres in size and is considered the sixth largest in that state's history. Utter chaos. I mean, a lot of homes have burned. Uh, the local resources are taxed, just like it would be here in Texas. Uh, you got 360,000 acres burning. No one can handle that on their own. So I think it'll be uh, welcoming to see us ride in. Uh, other states, federal government's already there. Lieutenant Andrew Rodriguez is among those answering the call for help. It's his first deployment to a California wildfire. It'll be a little bit new territory for me, but I've been all over the state of Texas on multiple deployments. Almost a year ago, Rodriguez was working the Davis Mountain wildfire. The difficult West Texas terrain required steep climbs to reach areas hit by airdrops. In a way, that firefight in Texas prepared him for the park fire. What strikes you the most about what you're walking into? Um, probably just how fast it's moving. You know, 5,000 acres an hour is pretty fast on how fast that fire is growing. This deployment to California is a very quick turnaround for Travis County ESD-1. 12 members of this station just got back on the 18th after working in the Houston area as part of the hurricane barrel response. We had several crews on, that were on ambulances that were actually supplementing uh, Houston's 911 system. Other missions, according to Battalion Chief Ben Walker, included damage assessments and delivering oxygen tanks to people cut off. Walker isn't part of this new deployment, but he's ready. If they do a crew swap, then, then I'll try to head out there and help out. Reimbursement for the deployment is being paid by California with federal funding. And there's extra coverage to fill any personnel gap. The resources are here. The state, not only do they pay our department when we leave, but they also backfill our positions when we leave here. 